Welcome to the A-Level Design Technology Product Design Taster Session. It would have been impossible for me to condense the whole two-year course into 30 minutes. So instead, I've decided that we look at the, what product design is, and that is solving problems, making life better for the intended user. So we are today going to do some product innovation. Cutting pizza is always so tricky. It comes out of the oven, it's very hot, it's round shaped, so hard to grip, covered in melting, melted hot cheese on top and toppings galore. Even the sharpest knives can struggle to get a clean cut. Some people use pizza cutters, some people even use scissors to cut their pizza. What we're going to do today is we're going to redesign the pizza cutter so that it is perfect for you and your family. Before any product designer embarks on a new project, they always look at existing products on the market. So I have a selection of four pizza cutters, some very con conventional, some novelty, some think that they're already solving the problem. You're about to watch a series of videos demonstrating the pizza cutters in action. I would like you to make notes on the positives and negatives of each design so we're able to discuss it later. Traditionally, you would put the bloopers at the end, but I wanted to share with you what happened whilst using this pizza cutter. Unfortunately, didn't find out until the next day when um, biting into some leftovers. So it's now over to you. You can now open up your mystery bags and find today's modelling materials. You've got a block of plasticine and a dummy blade, which I laser cut out of acrylic. So unfortunately, you cannot use them to hack up your pizzas later. What you can, however, use them for is a foundation to build upon and create the best pizza cutter handle in the world. We'll be discussing these at the end of the lesson. So all the very best of luck and I look forward to seeing what you come up with.